It is day two of being held hostage in Managua with this shipping container. Uh, we've got another couple of days that we're basically going to be unpacking every single box. I'm sure you saw that from yesterday. So we've got a couple more days of that. Hopefully we will be completed with that by Friday. Uh, thankfully, I am able to stay here with my brother Henry in his home while I'm here. Uh, it's a much uh, much better accommodations than what I have back in Palakawina right now. Uh, here I have a bed, a shower, a bathroom. It's it's actually uh, quite a nice uh, uh, break from sleeping on the floor and um, using uh, the hill. So um, it's it's nice. Uh, maybe I'm actually going to get a shower every day here too. But I'm going to go into Managua today. Going to get working on that. I've got golly, I guess nine hours of that today and then maybe i'll try to see if i can get to a few things in managua but i may just be coming right back here getting cleaned up and going to bed again so uh, that's today that's what we're looking forward to going to try to get the container uh, closer to being ready for the inspection and hopefully be in palacoina by this weekend oh, gonna walk through henry's neighborhood and Try to get a bite to eat for breakfast at the little store over here. Every trip I take out here, I get a little more independent, learn a little bit more about how to survive, what I've got to do, um, get a little more comfortable with things. Still not comfortable with the taxi. Can't really communicate well what I'm what I'm needing, but I am able to understand numbers for the price of the car, uh, taxi ride and I am able to write down the addresses of where I need to go and like show it to them and say Ponte, <laughs> por favor, you know? So, I, uh, just learning. Every day is a new day and moving on. My breakfast is gonna be a banana and a couple of pastry kind of things that I found here at the local uh, shop at the corner of Henry's neighborhood. We are back at it today, working through each box. We have 135 boxes to go through. <laughs> And essentially we unpack every single box, record it, and then we uh, pack it all back in and we're gonna pallet it up for the inspection. So things are going really well. Thank you, thank you for your prayers. Okay, I have made it uh, through half of today. This morning was way better than yesterday morning. I guess it, mainly more than anything, my attitude was a whole lot better. So we're breaking for lunch. I'm coming back here to this place. I had a wonderful meal yesterday. There's some kind of meat um, that I'm going to get to eat, and I have no idea what it is, but that's okay. Yeah, I think it looks like beef, but um, it'll be good, and I'll enjoy it, and I'll relax, and we're going to make it. We're going to make it through these next couple days. The container's going to make it. It doesn't matter all the details. It'll be fine. Oh, wow. Okay, we finished for today. It's two days of working and it looks very nice. We have gotten a lot done and we're getting there. Okay, we're leaving from another great day. We've had, uh, we've got most of it done. We'll definitely be done tomorrow. And uh, one more day and then I get to go back to Palakawina. Um, it's going very well. Um, I almost feel bad for uh, yesterday having such a bad day. I tell you, it's just complicated when you don't understand what's going on and, and everything seems like it's coming down on you. It just I don't know, it just put me in a corner there and I felt really, really awkward, really out of place. Um, and it was just, it weighed on me. I think that mixed with the fact that I was very hungry, hadn't had a shower in three days, so many reasons, but I'm thankful that I uh, made it through that and we're doing better. And uh, things are looking up. I'm very excited about getting back to Palakawina tomorrow. So for my dinner tonight, I was gonna go to the convenience store and see what I could find, the one out here in Henry's neighborhood. 
and basically all I could find, I was going to get some Pringles, a yogurt, and a banana, maybe some cookies. And right when I was about to get up there, they brought out a pizza. So it's, this is one of their homemade uh, pizzas. I actually had this uh, when I was here in September. And this is a little pastry uh, thing, a banana and a Fanta. This entire meal, which is going to be delicious, I believe, uh, was about 68 Cordobas, which is uh, a little over $2. So this is, uh, this is my dinner tonight, and I'm going to enjoy it. I will say, it's some pretty good pizza. It's a little different, not what I'm used to at home. The crust is very soft, but it's quite delicious. Eating that little bag they gave me. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Stuffed crust pizza. This is my kind of place here. Sorry, Deborah. Got my stuffed crust. <laughs> so much fun don't you wish you could be here in this dusty dirty factory looking thing going through people's boxes sounds fun doesn't it yeah you wish you were here you wish you were here you do